Today we're going to look at these super cool Happy Lucky Waving Cats. You can get them on Amazon for about 10 bucks, and they run on the tiniest amount of energy, on microwatts of power from these little solar cells. Indoor light makes that arm wave. How do they do it? It's amazing. Here's inside of one. The secret sauce is this big coil here and this hanging magnet. This forms a pendulum, and if you remember back from high school physics, simple harmonic motion, if you can give a push to that pendulum at exactly the right minute every time, those pushes will build up and make it go higher and higher until it reaches equilibrium, just like pushing a kid on a swing. If you can hit it at its resonant frequency, it'll absorb the maximum amount of power. So how does it know when to push it? First, I thought maybe it just knows the frequency and it pushes it um, periodically, but that wouldn't really work because temperature variations in the oscillator, manufacturing tolerances on this $10 item are not going to be good enough that you're going to be able to get that push exactly at the right moment every time. It uses a much cooler way of finding out when to do the little push. To demonstrate what I've done here is I've disconnected the coil from the normal circuit in the Happy Lucky Cat and instead connected it to an Arduino. It's connected to pin A0 and pin ground on the Arduino and I have purposely set it up so that when it's swinging in the direction away from the coil it has a positive voltage. So if you look back at again high school physics and you remember your Faraday rules, whenever there's a magnetic field crossing a wire, it's going to generate a voltage in that wire. So every time this magnet crosses over the wires in that coil, the coil will show a voltage. Here and uh, I have an Arduino sketch running that is taking that voltage, reading it off of the analog import, and printing it to the serial port so that we can see it here. We only see half of it. It really goes up and down. It's kind of a sine wave. Uh, but Every port on the Arduino has protection diodes that if the voltage goes below zero, they shunt it to ground, so you'll only see positive voltages here. And if you watch really carefully, you'll see every time that that magnet moves past the coil, you get this peak of voltage, um, which is how far away the magnet is from the coil and how fast it's moving past the coil. So that peak corresponds to right when it's over the coil just at the bottom of its swing, about to go up to the next, go back up on the next side. So what we want to do is we want to give it a little nudge exactly at that moment when it's going past. And in the Arduino sketch, what I've done is I've looked for the peak, and then I've made a little rule, which is to smooth out the data, because the data is really noisy coming out of the coil. That coil is basically an electromagnetic noise picker-upper. So I average a whole bunch of readings from the analog digital converter, and then I look for when the derivative changes, and it just starts going down, and I look for the point where it's past 90%. So that gives enough leeway that it doesn't false trigger on any of the jumps that happen along the way. The red line is when I'm giving the little nudge. So if you can see, the red line should be at around 90% of the peak on each one on the way down and it's enough to keep it going. That nudge is only about five milliseconds, and it's five volts across that big coil. It keeps it running easily. Uh, I also, to replicate the original circuit, you need to start it, because when it's not swinging, there's no bump for it to see. It'll never give it the nudge. So there's another rule in the sketch, which is if you don't see a bump for five seconds, give a kick to the coil to get it to start swinging. So let's stop it from swinging. And then we'll wait five seconds, and you should see it give it a little kick. And there's the little kick, and the kick is enough to get it swinging, and then it just keeps giving nudge, nudge, nudge. Each nudge makes it swing a little bit higher um, until it reaches steady state. So that's a deconstructed Happy Lucky Cat. Really cool, really cool.